Hey guys, I'm Stef from RocketTimes.com and in this tutorial we will talk about the page title and bread, breadcrumb uh, section um, that uh, options that we created uh, for the Nimva team. Okay, so first go to your WordPress uh, dashboard, then go to team options and click on page title breadcrumb. Okay, so in the new page, um, you will see uh, we have a bunch of options that can um, change the actual uh, design and um, functionality if you want for the title and brand, uh, breadcrumb uh, section. Uh, let's go ahead and open our um, site in a new uh, tab. Okay, so open your front page in a new tab. And next, uh, let's go to blog and just uh, click on a page. I'm going to use the big thumbs um, page uh, because I uh, have here um, the page title, uh, the breadcrumb, and also I have a section here for uh, quick search. Um, okay, if you go back to your um, admin um, area, you can see here that the first option is called title and breadcrumb, enabled or disabled this uh, section. So if I'm going to select this to off, all the options uh, disappeared, so click on save changes. Uh, go back to your site, click refresh, and now you can see that uh, that um, the area um, below the header, uh, the, the page title and breadcrumb uh, section disappeared. Um, this affects all your pages, all your posts, uh, everything that uh, it's using the page title and breadcrumb uh, section will be removed. Okay, um, so this is a nice feature if you don't want to use it at all. Uh, okay, I just enabled it back. Um, the second option that you can see here is called title and breadcrumb on the right section display. Um, let's click on save changes and um, refresh our page. Okay, so the second option controls what will appear here. Uh, at the moment we have the quick search um, uh, box here, so if you go to the um, admin area, you can select uh, different options, like you can have the contact info um, or maybe the social links, or you can just uh, leave it empty. So let's say I want to use the contact info. Okay, go back to your site, hit refresh, and you can see that the same contact info that we have above here appeared um, here in, instead of that uh, search box. Um, this is useful because um, you, you can change these options here instead of having the contact uh, info and the social links. You might you may have another menu here, which is called, called the top uh, top nav menu. So um, just so you will not waste any space, you can have the contact info here, uh, another uh, small menu instead of the social links, and then have the social links um, to appear. Uh, here in this section right of the breadcrumb and the page title. Okay, um, let's see what happens if you select social links. Okay, save changes, go back, hit refresh. As you may guess, uh, the social links appeared uh, in this area here. They are exactly the same as uh, the ones uh, on top of the header. Okay, um, you can also disable to show anything um, in that um, section by selecting the leave empty option. So if you click save changes and go back, hit refresh, you'll see that uh, nothing appears here because uh, we choose not to show anything in this area here. Okay, um, if you scroll um, a bit down, you'll see the page title text color. So um, this will actually affect um, the color of uh, this uh, page title. This is the page title that appears. So you can change this uh, black color to any color you want. So let's say I want to use this blue color. Save changes, go back to your site, hit refresh. And you can see now that the page title became, um, it's having the same blue color that we selected. Okay, um, next we have the option to turn on or, dis or, or uh, disable the breadcrumb. Um, let's click on save changes, go back to your site. Now the breadcrumb is this section here. You can see here a small um, home button or link if you want, and then the actual uh, location of where you are. So uh, because I disabled it, that option, when I click refresh, 
you can see that only the page uh, title appears, which is exactly what uh, we wanted. Okay, let's go ahead and enable the breadcrumb uh, again. And you can see here some options for the breadcrumb um, styling. You can select the text color as well as the link color. So let's go ahead and maybe select a uh, text color of uh, green. I want to have a green color for the text. And for the link color of the breadcrumb, I want to use this purple. Um, it's not really purple. Okay, this is purple. Uh, save changes, go back to your site and hit refresh. And now you can see that uh, the text of the breadcrumb is uh, using that green color that we selected, while the link, this is a link, because if you click it, it, it will take you to the home page. Um, you can see it has that um, purple color that we selected. Okay. Uh, now we have uh, some options. Um, just below the link color, become link color, um, you have some options that will actually customize uh, the entire section, like the background color, you have, uh, you can see here um, that for the breadcrumb at the moment we are using a light gray, then we have uh, some sort of border here uh, on the bottom at the top, and also um, there is another border here, which uh, at the moment cannot be seen very well. But as soon as we play with these settings here, you'll see um, how um, all these uh, settings can change the, the actual styling for the title and breadcrumb uh, section. Okay, so let's uh, first change the background color. This is the background color outside, so let's use maybe a yellow color. And the, for the breadcrumb color inside, I want to use... Um, I don't know, um, maybe still a yellow color, but uh, a bit more pale if you want. Okay, let's save, save changes. Um, go back to your site, hit refresh. Uh, Okay, so now you can see that we have that pale uh, yellow color for the breadcrumb, breadcrumb uh, background. Um, while uh, that um, brighter yellow, if you want, it's used as a border top and border uh, bottom. Okay, uh, you can also enable the use of patterns. So instead of having this uh, background color, you can select and use patterns. Um, save changes, go back to your site, hit refresh. You can see we have the patterns still, the colors for the border top and border bottom are here. Okay, you can also uh, use a, a custom background image. So let's say I want to use this uh, background here, click select. I don't want this image to be repeated. Okay, click on save changes. Go back, hit refresh. Okay, so you can see that um, that background color is being used, uh, back background image, sorry, is being used as the actual background for the page title and the breadcrumb uh, section. Right, um, now we have some option to customize the padding outside uh, as well as the padding inside. Now, the padding outside is actually uh, this border on top and the border to the bottom. So each has uh, five pixels, as you can see here. So if I choose not to use um, any pixels at all, so that's a zero value. If I click refresh, you can see uh, that the, mm, the, the border on top and the bottom have, have been removed. Okay, um, now you can see here another uh, title in breadcrumbs um, bottom border color. So let's try to use this uh, red color so you can see uh, where, where that border is exactly. Okay, so you can see it's right here at the bottom. Um, this is actually very useful because maybe um, for this background, because I'm using a background image, yeah, it might be better to have a, a bottom border with a gray color. So Click refresh. Okay, um, maybe this color is too, uh, too too dark, so 
uh, lighter color might be um, better used but you get the idea okay um, go back also we have here the title and breadcrumbs padding inside now this is the padding that actually controls um, the actual marginal padding that you have here for uh, the title from here to here so from this uh, link here to the bottom uh, you have a 15 uh, padding as well as a 15 padding from here uh, to here so if I'm going to increase this to maybe let's say 40 the maximum value go back to your site and hit refresh now you see that our um, padding uh, to the top and to the bottom of the page title and breadcrumb section increased to 40 pixels okay um, so you can also disable the bottom um, border by selecting a zero value so click refresh and you can see that uh, that border has been removed as well okay so that's it with the uh, page title and breadcrumb uh, section uh, that uh, we created uh, for you to customize in the uh, options um, of the Nimba team i hope you enjoyed watching this uh, tutorial and uh, see you next time